Hello and welcome back to Aviation Abbey. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be doing the part two of runway orientation or runway designation. It will be a little more detailed section of the previous part. So if you haven't watched our video on runway orientation and designation part one, please go through it. It will give you a better insight of this video. So let's get started. Runway orientation and designation part two. What is runway designator? So let's have a recap. A runway designator consists of a two digit number, which is the whole number nearest to one tenth of the magnetic north when viewed from the direction of approach. So as we can see, a two seven written here as runway designator, meaning it is a 270 degrees when we are taking one tenth of the magnetic knot, it becomes runway 27. Now, simple calculation we have already done in the first part. What if we are getting runway headings like 284.25 degrees, 104.25 degrees, 91.26 degrees, 271.25 degrees. So how will be the runway designator be marked with the above mentioned two bearings or runway headings because if we take one tenth of it it will again come something in points so but it is written that a runway designator is a two digit number so we have to mention only two digit on a runway so what we are going to do we'll learn in the next part but first we need to understand the source of these bearings concept one landings and takeoffs are best done against the wind this we have studied in a very detailed manner in first part to get a glimpse of it we have three kinds of wind mentioned here tailwind headwind and crosswind tailwind is the wind which is in the same direction as of the moving aircraft you can also say a tailwind pushes an aircraft headwind this is the wind which is in the direction against to the direction of moving aircraft or we can say this is the most favorable condition for landing and takeoff. We also have a third kind of wind, wind which is perpendicular to the direction of the moving aircraft. So this wind deviates the aircraft from the extended runway center line towards the runway strip on either side. Now second concept is the concept of the wind row strike arm. Wind data. For determining the runway orientation, wind data is utilized, which comprises of three things. First, wind intensity, duration of movement of wind, direction of movement of wind. A typical wind data looks like the data is shown in collected for a period of 10 years and is plotted, which forms a wind rose diagram. So actually we have to collect a data for approximately about 10 years to get the exact value and then it is plotted to form a window cycle so in the picture below we have the directions as north north northeast northeast these are 16 directions which we could find on a compass then we have the second column divided into further three columns duration of wind for that as kilometers per hours from 625 25 to 40 40 to 60. Now this is the total percentage of time wind blew between 6 to 60 kilometers per hour. Summation of this row is 10.3. Summation of this row is 8.1 and hence summation of this column is 86.5. So it is 86.5 total percent of the time wind blew between 6 to 60 kilometers per hour. What is wind rose diagram? Wind rose diagram is a compass shaped diagram which exhibits wind direction, duration of wind movement at different speeds and also shows wind speed. It is used in working out the orientation of runways. Now, runways are oriented in the direction of prevailing wind to ensure a 95% usability factor, the percentage of time the runway can be used with minimum interference due to crosswind. There are two types of wind rose diagram. They are as follows type 1 shows direction and duration of wind only 
meaning this type of diagram is formed with the direction of wind and duration of wind only the second type shows direction duration and wind speed also type 1 force diagram meaning direction and duration of wind only so step 1 is draw concentric circles showing wind durations so first we have to draw concentric circles showing wind durations as from 0 to 5 percent of time 10 percent of the time 15 percent of the time 20 percent of the time and so on the middle part is always shown for calm meaning wind speed less than 6 km per hour divide the circles into 16 segment or directions now divide it into north 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 east north east and so on and this will take 16 parts readily step 3 plot the wind duration along the respective directions and join the points now you have to plot the wind durations some assume that in east northeast you have 10 percent of the time duration then here you have this then this and in southwest you have this south southwest you have this point and then join all the points it will form a contour type shape step four the runway is oriented along the longest line in the diagram so in this contour we could find two lines as the longest one moving from east north east to west southwest and second one is north east to southwest so whichever will be the longest line will orient the runway along that direction so this is how by following the procedure of windows diagram type 1 we orient a runway now moving forward to a more elaborative type 2 windows diagram in this we have direction duration and speed of wind also so step one draw concentric circles showing wind speed we have drawn concentric circles and they are now showing wind speed in the previous part they were showing wind duration step two draw radial direction to show wind coverage area this creates segments in which wind coverage is written so after drawing these concentric circles we'll draw the directions like this like this it will cover 16 parts and then they will form this compartment like things these compartment like things or the segments in which wind coverage is written mark the calm period as i have already told in the previous slides that calm period is the center part where the speed of the wind is less than 6 km per hour step 4 fill the wind coverage in designated segment for each direction from the wind data this is a table table number 1 which we have taken from the previous slide and i have already explained this table you have to put this data this data of the wind speed into the segments which are created in the diagram so this is how all the segments are filled with the data after filling this step 5 draw three equispaced parallel lines equispaced parallel lines on a transparent paper strip in such a way that the distance between the two nearby parallel lines is equal to the permissible crosswind component this distance should be equal to the permissible crosswind component of a territory from where you are drawing the windrows diagram this distance is measured with the same scale with which the windrows diagram is drawn the permissible crosswind component is 25 km per hour as taken here Place the transparent paper strip over the windows diagram in such a way that the central line passes to the center of the diagram. The center line passes to the center of the diagram. Okay. With the center of the windows, rotate the tracing paper and place it in such a position that the sum of all the values indicating the duration of wind within the two outer parallel lines is maximum. Now what we have to do? That we have to rotate this accordingly when we get the num number written the summation of all the numbers to be the maximum with the center of the wind rows rotate the tracing paper and place it in such a position that the sum of all the values indicating the duration of wind within the two parallel lines is maximum within the two parallel lines the duration of wind should come as maximum the runway should be thus oriented along the direction indicated by the center line this line will indicate 
the direction of the runway and these two will help to get the maximum duration the wind coverage can be calculated by the summing of all the percentages if you are getting the maximum value in this manner you will place the center line in this manner now final orientation wind coverage is equal to sum of the percentages under the strip for e direction plus the calm wind meaning whatever you are getting after the summation you have to add calm period into that the direction with maximum wind coverage is the direction along which the runway is oriented in case wind coverage is less than 95 percent another runway is constructed meaning that if you are getting the wind coverage less than 95 percent this means that the wind is not in the favor of landing and takeoffs so you have to find another way another runway for another orientation to get this 95 percent usability factor for busy airport the wind coverage may be increased up to 98 or 100 percent so when we are able to find the true bearings or the correct readings or the runway headings from the type 1 windows diagram and type 2 windows diagram we are left with the very first question which i have asked what if the readings are like this 284.25 degrees 104.25 degrees 91.26 degrees 271.25 degrees so when we are able to find the correct orientation of the runway by the implementation of windows diagram then we may get the readings as follows with the points in them these are actually the true bearings but when we have to make it a runway designator some modifications are done to it 284.25 degrees will be rounded off to 280 degrees 104.25 degrees will be rounded off to 100 degrees 91.26 degree will be rounded off to 90 degrees 271.25 degrees will be rounded off to 270 degrees or we can say these are rounded to the nearest whole number to give it a value of a runway designator after getting these values 280 we may write 28 two digit number or the one tenth of the magnetic knot 100 or 100 may be written as 10 90 degrees will be written as 09 and 270 degrees will be written as 27 actually all these are the two true bearings of the Indira Gandhi International Airport so if you find in the AIM you will get these as the true bearings and these as the runway designator of the respective true bearings so hope you have enjoyed this lesson and you have been able to learn something new be with us because your support is our motivation